So this is strange again. I find myself shaving in the mornings. <clears throat> I'm going to do it quick, hopefully. Um, I have my boar brush, whipped dog boar brush soaking. It's been soaking for several minutes, but I usually just need about three, and that's my preference. The blade we'll be using today is a Gillette Nasset. This will be the 65th shave on this blade. The razor that it's in, and you can see the blade, is um, a vintage Gillette Slim, a great razor. Used a fat boy yesterday, and we use a Slim today. Uh, the soap is a little tricky. I thought that I just had a little sliver of Williams left in my cup. And when I went to break off a chunk of it, because I thought, hey, I'll break off a chunk and I'll put it in my bowl and then I'll have tons of, you know, room to maneuver and, and whip it up because it's been tough to whip up in the very bottom of the pole, uh, bowl and it's a very uh, small puck and I've had some trouble with that. Uh, and uh, when I went to break it off, it turns out it was a lot thicker than I thought, so there's a lot of puck left. Um, wow. Okay, so I don't even know if this is going to work. All these little fragments, some of them are floating around in the water, I want, and so to give myself the best chance, um, I decided to put some water in there and let them soak for several minutes, and so I've done that. And I believe, uh, let me go ahead and wet my face. Cold water today as uh, fall fall comes in summer leaves water will get colder and colder I, my water is pretty hard all right let's just see what happens with mixing up sometimes when little soap pieces float around um, and move around your bowl more than um, more than stick to the bottom then they never really get agitated well enough because they're they're being pushed around. But let's just see what happens. Now, since the um, you'll notice it's it's quite airy, um, lots of little bubbles, and uh, that is going to happen with Williams to some degree, um, and probably more so when you. When the water is more in the bowl, which is was in this case, rather than in the in the brush. But hopefully the solution is the same. You just keep stirring past those wet, airy lather and get to something better. Looks like it's going to be okay. Already it's improving. And man, I, I just used, I just applied some lotion to my feet and that's making my grip on this brush handle really tentative. Good, I still have some soap sticking to the bottom. I was hoping that by breaking it up into small chunks, I would be able to uh, press it into the bottom and have it stick. And it looks like that worked a few times, a few places. You know, because you can take hard soaps like Williams. They're too hard to spoon out. You can take hard soaps and shred them with a cheese grater. And then make it there, that makes them soft enough to be pressed into whatever shape container you have. The problem I found with Williams was that uh, it shrinks. So you could press it into a, uh, a big bowl or the, the mug or something. And eventually uh, when it dries out, it kind of shrinks away from the sides. Usually not a problem until you um, until you get toward the end of the puck and it shrinks so much that it disconnects from the bottom of the container. If you don't want to watch this in real time, 
you can just change the play speed by that little gear icon on YouTube. And then change the speed to be 1.5 or something like that. And you'll be able to uh, see all this happen much faster. Now, looks like I've got a pretty good lather. Let me show you. Let's go. I'm kind of in a hurry today. So let's try it. Gonna uh, splash face water. Alright. I don't know if it'll be too too thin. We'll see. But you know what? Here's the great thing about good soaps. And Williams is a good soap. Even when it's maybe too thin, it'll still give a very good slickness. I experimented with Williams all of August this year. And even the lathers that were just too wet. Um, we're still super slick. The only ones that were put me at risk of any type of, uh, you know, cuts or non-protection were the ones that were too dry. I usually observe that Williams lathers would get better with age, meaning the third pass would be cre the creamiest one of all. All right, let's shave this thing. I discovered I'm going on setting four. 65th shave. Yesterday I started on setting four with this is one day's growth um, with the fat boy. Oh man, this, for some reason, this side of my face just shaves so well. So I used the fat boy and I discovered something that I hadn't known before. With this type of blade, whether it's, I don't know, whether it's just a smooth blade now. But with this type of blade, I should start off with it at a medium setting like four. And then I can actually move up to something pretty aggressive. And I got great results yesterday. In the past, I had to step down with the course of each pass. All right, I'm gonna rinse. Tons of slickness there. Well, my little attempt worked, so that's cool. Um, happy about that. Don't know that I'd do it again. Well, especially knowing that this puck is, uh, let me add a little bit of water here. I dried off my face before the pass. Especially knowing that uh, this Williams puck is thicker than I thought. I mean, shoot, this thing may very well go for two months. And you might see that this is not a thick lather that I'm laying down. A couple little soap fragments there. But I guarantee it's, it's slick and protective. Now, second pass. Let's try the fat boy. The same experience I had with the fat boy yesterday. I'm going to dial it up to a seven. I'm 
We'll see what happens. Comfortable. Now a seven is one that I, I can shave with if I'm using kind of the normal situation with, uh, you know, newer, younger blades. But it usually is a little irritating, a little too aggressive for me. But this this feels like a like a four setting instead of a seven. My results were great yesterday when I did this. I've seen old time barbers whip up a lather really quick in a mug and then start shaving a guy like a straight razor shave. And uh, like I think that guy on with a Spanish name on Route 66, he's got some YouTube videos out. And uh, the lather that he put on the guy and gave him a shave was was just splotchy, patchy, uh, re and you can tell it was just, um, <clears throat> it was very thin. It was uh, not really creamy at all. And I think that's a test that's kind of like this lather. Um, where it's just super slick. And again, look at this. This has gotten creamier by the pass. This is a terrific lather right here. And uh, so it really is a testament that these older barbers have figured out about the slickness. Plus, uh, straight razor shavers need um, a thinner lather usually than the double-edged shavers. They really need that slickness. Thirteen minutes, fast shave, and this is a three pass. One good thing about bowl lathering is that if you if you do it in the winter and you do it with whatever comes out of the cold tap, it has a chance because of the uh, couple of minutes of mixing it in the bowl has a chance to come kind of to room temperature. So it's not all that shocking. All right, go to rinse. I wasn't going to do a third pass, uh, a, a fourth pass um, on my neck only, like I usually do, <clears throat> because of speed's sake. And I got to make this brief, <clears throat> but I don't need to. This was an amazing shave, 65th use, and this slim took care of it. Now, I don't know, it might be interested to go back and forth between the slim and the fat boy. A lot of people say the slim performs better. I like the, the fit the heft, the size of the fat boy. I like the look of it better, so that's my favorite. But it could very well be I could do a side-by-side -side comparison, alternating days of slim and fat boy, and discover that the just it just does perform better for some reason. Maybe they improved the geometry or something. But there is a reason that the fat boy went away after a few years and the slim came and stayed for a while. My face feels great. My uh, very above, uh, way above average shave here. Hard to find any tips coming out with any length of hair in them. And for me, that is substantial because I can't go against the grain uh, to really take care of all the hairs. So a razor has really got to do a good job as I can only do with the grain and cross grain passes on my neck. I'm not going to mention how much water I used because I wasn't able to calculate it. I just poured some water in the bottom of the bowl to help soak those uh, pieces of soap. It turns out I didn't even need all of those 
because some of them floated around and just came on my face and got rinsed away. Not all of them got mixed into the lather. So very little of the Williams actually needs to go uh, to soap making. And that's why maybe it, it lasts so long is because it's very hard, very concentrated. You don't need a quarter teaspoon like you do with a lot of those cropes that we have now. Matter of fact, I'd say maybe an eighth of a teaspoon uh, may even be too much, hard to say. So that brush was great as usual. If I had to pick a boar brush to, uh, to grab and go to a desert island and be stuck with right now, that would be the one. And I'm, I've used Samogs. I like it better than my Samog Owners Club uh, boar. Um, I have, uh, I don't really have too many others uh, right now. I've just got a Zenith in, so I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Anyway, really like it. It's like the Samog Owners Club, but it's got more hairs. And so I feel like it's covering my face better. I like it. So there we go. That was an amazing shave and it really didn't take very long at all. Um, with an old puck, I just uh, pre-soaked those little niblets. Um, and I think pre-soaking really helps you with your load time on Williams. Um, uh, you can either pre-soak for a while, like uh, uh, just several minutes and then maybe load for about 10 seconds and you're good in terms of a normal puck. Uh, or you can um, load about 60 seconds on an unsoaked puck, maybe longer. So it just depends on how you want to spend your time. But anyway, I'm done cleaning up. Got to go. Uh, that's my shave for today. Hope it helped you in some way. If you're looking maybe for a, uh, a quick Williams shave, um, it, it did turn out to, to work. Um, what might be interesting with Williams is to go ahead and shave the, shave the puck with a cheese grater and just uh, keep those shavings in a cup pull out a couple of shreds and press those. I wonder if that would work. I wonder if those would be thin enough because the key is making them stick to the bottom of the, the bowl because if they don't, they're just going to come through in your brush on your face, maybe clog your razor or something like that. They're just going to be wasted anyway. Um, so that would be interesting. I wonder about that. Anyway, time to go. Hope this helped you in some way. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Take care and good day.